Hey guys, so I work with back pain every day and these patients range from disc uh, bulges, uh, herniations, even past laminectomies and other surgeries and we still get their spine moving and there's still a good workout you should do um, to help maintain yourself but then the warm up to the workout is important so we do some good hands on work and then we learn how to move your spine into some ranges that replicate what you need to do, need to do during your day and so the bare minimum work warm up you should do for your lower back, upper back, and cervical spine. I'm gonna show you here one exercise, one minute. Here we go. All right guys, so here it is. So this is the exercise that I recommend doing. It's called Thread the Needle. Um, it works your low, lumbar spine, thoracic spine, and cervical spine, and it works into flexion, extension, and in rotation, and so it's everything that you need to do. Um, one exercise works all of it. I will say limit your range of motion uh, to what you feel comfortable with, but this is safe for people who have been told they've had d d disc degeneration or just arthritis as well as disc bulges and herniations and so what you're going to start with is hands firmly planted underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, and that you, if you looked at you from the side, right, it should be a nice tabletop position here. Okay, and then you can curl your toes or flatten them out, it really doesn't matter. And then what you're going to do is you're going to reach underneath that planted arm as far as you feel comfortable and you should feel it in your lower back, mid back, and then you're going to reach up in the opposite direction. Now for me, right, it's morning time, I'm a little stiff, and so you're going to notice that you're going to see some of that restriction here. So reach, and then up. Reach through upper, middle, lower back, turn your head so you can get that good cervical spine, and then here you can feel those muscles really start to tighten up. And I'll show you from a different angle here. So you're gonna reach through, breathe out, push up, rotate, oh my gosh. <laughs> reach, push up, rotate. Now, I do this with a lot, a lot of my back patients um, because they notice that that range of motion starts to improve. How much should you do, right? It's about a minute's worth of commitment. So 30 seconds on each side, or I always tell people about eight to 12 reps. So you can tell that range for me is a lot easier. I reach through with my left. I'm rotating, I'm rotating, I'm reaching, I'm reaching. Oh, and I just run out of room. Um, unfortunately for me, I should work on that a little bit more. But I'm really not biased on age either. either. And so I have people um, who are older that do this and maybe put a pillow underneath their knee or they do it in their bed where they can have that stability and they don't have to get on the ground. But the great exercise is called thread the needle. The minimum you should do to warm up and loosen up your lower back. So if you like what I'm um, having on the channel, please subscribe, leave in the comments below if you have any, and as always, stay healthy, keep moving, and take care of yourself.